Hello and welcome to penetration testing in Linux YouTube channel. Three vulnerability discovered by security researcher recently revealed in modern CPU had been raising. The vulnerability are mainly caused by hardware design flaws, allowing attacker to exploit the vulnerability to access in memory information and allow them to steal user information such as passwords, email, browser, history, photo, and more. Metal corresponds to vulnerability number CVE 20175754. Spectre corresponds to the vulnerability number CVE 2017-5753 and CV 2017-5715 Zoom below correspond to the vulnerability number CV 2018-2 one two one three zero C two zero zero one eight one two one two six and more. The flaw had affected a large number of processor really in part two decade include including Intel. AMD and ARM processor, but mainly Intel's problem. IDM had issued a statement clarify that one of the two spectral variants does not affect its processor and second variant can be resolved by software update. The Variant Metal does not affect the AMD chip. We do architecture different because the chip design flaw are in hardware support mainstream operating system such as Windows 10, Mac OS, Linux, and much other software are also at risk. Microsoft has previously really patch to early be some of problem with Windows 10 system and hardware manufacturer are now rolling out firmware update to address the hardware design flaw. However, due to the solution to CPU Spectre, Meltdown and Zumbi Load vulnerability to match multi vendor multi step solution. It is difficult to determine whether the user current PC has been immunized. Therefore, Microsoft really a PowerShell script to help user manually check if the device is being affected by CPU spectre metal and zombie low vulnerability. This video will instruct to you to check your device for the required system and firmware update to mitigate the impact of the latest CPU hardware security vulnerability. Now, step one, open, open PowerShell as the administrator. Step 3, run command.
step for in install module speculation control with command Step 5. Run command. Once the detection test is complete, you can determine if your computer is still vulnerable able to mess down specter and zombie load security vulnerability. Now view the response. For example, see speculation control setting for MDS. Windows OS support for MDS mitigation is pre then, with true value, it means that the system has fixed zombie load vulnerability. Hardware is vulnerable to MDS with value true. It means that the Intel CPU is vulnerable to zombie load vulnerability. Windows OS support for MDS mitigation is enabled with true value. It means that the Windows operating support for the mitigation is present and the mitigation has been enabled. That is it. Thank for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank for watching and bye bye.